Hi folks, I'm going to do a little bit of a video on uh, a table saw accident that I had about, I think it was about 18 months ago, might have been a couple of years ago, a kickback. Now, I was mentioning this to Ryan a little bit didn't, uh, the other day and he was in tears. I have mentioned it occasionally on a video but I haven't actually gone into what, what happened exactly and I thought I'd show you. But first, I got a mail call. This is also wood related. This is a package from Mr. Woody, Cumbrian Homestead. I've got a link to his uh, channel and he sent me some sound wood. I think it's all apple. Is it all apple, Woody? But yeah, some various sound wood to put onto me apple tree. And uh, it's sealed and packed, so I'm going to put that in the fridge. So thank you very much sir, very kind of you. Hopefully I'll get some success with them and have some other varieties. But back to the main story. Kickback on a table saw. Now obviously table saws come with a lot of safety features including the saw guard and splitter or riving knife. Yeah. Now this is a Bosch. Obviously you can see my riving knife isn't on at the moment. I do put it on. <laughs> I learnt a very important lesson, but no, yeah, an important lesson. I've never, I've, after, I've used a saw without we're we're a riving knife for years and years and years and years and years. I've been in the building industry for thirty years, so. But on this particular occasion, I didn't have it on because I'd been using my sledge, and the problem with this riving knife on this saw is I don't know whether you can see numbers on there. But that's the blade height, and that's how high the riving knife comes above the blade, because it's mounted like that. So my blade height's about there, and the riving knife comes above it. So if you've got the sledge on, and you need it to do a deep cut, it won't work because the riving knife's higher than the slot in in the um, sledge. The other problem with this saw is the blade guard. It's not an easy takeoff. Now. If it were an easy one that you could just clip on, like a lot of them, then it wouldn't be a problem. You actually have to completely dismantle it. And before, there was a T-section through that. I'm still thinking about cutting that off, or I might actually make a new base plate, a, a zero clearance base plate, that's got a riving knife fitter on it, integrated into it, just as a splitter. But you have to take that completely apart to get that off, to put even if I did use it with sledge. Now what happened, I was, um, I know I'm rambling, but what happened, I was cutting a piece of very thin board. I'll take you over to the saw and demonstrate. I was cutting a very a piece of very thin board, which was about that big. Well, actually it was bigger than that, but it was about that thick. So what happened, I was cutting this piece of board and the saw wasn't positioned here because obviously it's on wheels it pulls out but I did have some other stuff in here which were a little bit higher than the saw. I was cutting the board, I had the fence on and as I come through cut, I had the saw blade low like that. As I had come through cut, came up on blade and spun it back at me like that, yeah? Now, unfortunately, exactly the height of this table is exactly the height of my male organs. I kid you not. So it spun it back at me like that. And it hit me, the corner, a corner, hit me in the plums. And I put it politely in the plums, in the nuts, in the eggs. Now I was laid on this floor for around 20 minutes. I don't pray very often, but that day I prayed for God to take me. Now, as I, in the aftermath, after I got up, I walked into the house like John Wayne and informed my wife that I'd had an accident with the saw. 
And she said, oh, no, you haven't cut your fingers off, have you? I went, no, I haven't. I've had a kickback off the saw and it's hit me in the testicles. Now, at first she laughed, which is understandable. I'm sure lots of you people are laughing now. <laughs> so I, dro I dropped my trousers and shown her the, um, the, the offending part that was injured, or parts. It was just the one, actually, just the one left testicle that was affected. But it was, even by then, it was purple and swollen. And I had to make a trip to the um, accident and emergency, which I did. And trying to explain, because I didn't know the exact <laughs> medical term for testicles in German, I was telling the lady I'd been hit, hitting my eggs. <laughs> and she didn't understand me. And um, she called over another lady who spoke English, and I explained to her where I'd been hit. Because I was stood there 10 minutes trying to explain to her. When she realised where I took the hit, she sent me away to sit down very quickly, gave me a number and got me straight through to see a doctor. Unfortunately, the first doctor that came was a female doctor. Oh, I know, it doesn't matter, does it? But she asked me what happened and I was trying to explain to her. And she went, well, show me. So obviously I dropped my trousers and shown her. She, she 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 went out and fetched a man, uh, a male doctor who examined me. Do you've just had a hit and somebody's doing that? A, a serious hit, you know what I mean? And somebody's doing that, it makes you jump. But I was, I, I was informed that I hadn't busted a nut. But I was going to have the swelling, the bruising, and uh, some pain for a little bit of time which happened i was walking like john wayne for about two weeks and there were per and obviously the, the we had all the colors of the rainbow i do have a picture but i can't show it here so yes i thought i'd tell you that story it's a true story and it made my eyes water but it's also quite funny now i said luckily i didn't bust a nut and uh that's a good reason to have a riving knife on. Like I say, I, I've used many saws many years and that's the first time I've had a kickback. And it was a lesson I learned. So Paul, <laughs> I know you've got a new saw, Workshop Life. Use, use your riving knife. And like I say, I might end up cutting that one down or putting a plate on this which would have a riving knife integrated onto it so that I'm not changing it because that is a bad design fault. I have mentioned that on this saw. That is one of the things that really niggles me on. So it, 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 it doesn't make it easy to work safe sometimes because they've got this extra height on that knife. So there's a story of woe. Again, Mr. Woody, thank you very much. And um, don't forget, thumbs up thumbs down drop a comment in below and it's always nice to be nice